is all about Heinrich's principle. Um, it's not about Heinrich's triangle, it's about Heinrich's principle. There's been a lot of controversy uh, over the years, as in recent years, because the data of Heinrich's triangle doesn't seem to be a very good predictor. Um, so, for example, they'll say things like, well, this oil platform blew up, and in order for Heinrich's triangle to be true, we should have been giving three LTIs uh, every day for the last 10 years. This isn't about Heinrich's triangle, it's about Heinrich's principle. The classic uh, argument you get about Heinrich's triangle is a process safety person saying, uh, I'm not going to get my oil platform to stop blowing up by getting everybody to hold the handrail. But of course, we're not trying to get the oil platform not to blow up by getting people to hold the handrail. We're trying to get people not to fall down the stairs. It's not the same thing. Um, and if the person who doesn't fall down the stairs is a key process safety engineer, all the better. You see, the reason that holding the handrail is so important is that in any given organisation, usually, and, and offshore, about half the accidents will be caused by people falling down or off things. Um, you know, so key behaviours uh, are things like holding the handrail, stepping down squarely, lifting kinetically, not standing under things, making sure you've got your hard hat on. Uh, approximately 50 to 60% of accidents offshore, fatalities offshore, have been caused by instances like this. What organisations need to understand is that, of course, not blowing up is very important, but you're not going to get anywhere near zero harm if you don't system systemically address your gravity-related issues. I don't really see the distinction between personal safety and process safety necessarily. Um, you know, there are process safety issues and there are personal safety issues and gravity is just a key component of, of personal risk. Talking about process safety, Heinrich's principle applies to that too. You know, if you can halve the number of um, poor quality handovers that occur, if you can halve the number of poor quality audits that happen, if you can halve the number of times permits to work are signed off blindly, etc., etc., that will impact on the likelihood of a process safety incident. It's exactly the same principle. In other talks, we've talked about the vital importance of transformational leadership. And again, the principle is sound. If you can double the number of times you coach rather than tell, if you can double the number of times you empower, if you can double the number of times you praise rather than criticize, if you can halve the number of times you fail to lead by example, all of this will impact on your culture. And the principle applies, of course, to well-being. You know, absolutely every aspect of life is impacted by Heinrich's principle. Um, from Gary Player, who joked that, isn't it funny, the harder I practice, the luckier I seem to get, through to the Dalai Lama, who, who says, you know, when asked, how come you're so happy all the time, says, well, it m might have something to do with the fact that I've been practicing hard every day for about 60 years now. It's, ex it's exactly the same principle. And to go back to Gary Player... You know, I always assumed when I heard that expression, I always saw him in a bunker, practicing his bunker shots till his hands bled. But if you look at this picture, you can see 20 years before anybody else, he was in the gym working out. Because the truth is, Heinrich's principle is not about numbers. Heinrich's principle is about hard work, sweat and effort.